Hello friends, welcome to today's video. Today we are going to see something interesting. We are going to see how to host WordPress in AWS Cloud using EC2 and RTS. If you don't know what is EC2 and RTS, please visit our previous videos. So what is WordPress? WordPress is nothing but a tool which is used to create your own website or a blog. In fact, all over the world, approximately 40% of the web websites on the internet is powered by WordPress. And on the technical level, WordPress is nothing but an open source content management system which is licensed under GPL, which means that anyone can use or modify the WordPress software for free. A content management system is basically a tool that makes it easy to manage aspects of your website like content without knowing anything about the programming. Alright, now that we know what is WordPress, let us quickly see how to deploy a WordPress software in our AWS cloud. So this is our EC2 instance page. Let us quickly create an EC2 instance under which we will launch our WordPress application. So I won't be explaining in detail because we have already seen this in our previous videos. So let me select a free tier EC2 instance. Here let me name this EC2 as WordPress. Open HTTP SSH RTS UN launch and then launch. Acknowledge it. So we have created our EC2 instance. Meanwhile, let me create my RTS instance as well parallelly. And then we will come back to our EC2 and deploy our WordPress because creating an RTS might take some time. Create database. I will go for MySQL here. Come down. I would give this name like WordPress DB. Now that I have given my username and password. Let me come down and see if I have missed. Let me disable auto scaling. We need to give the security groups and open this for public. Let's not forget to do that. So click on additional, make this publicly accessible. And let me open the port RDS. And also let me open the port HTTP because our WordPress application will be deployed in an EC2 instance so we need to open the port HTTP to access and then let's come down let me review before I click on create if I have created everything MySQL blah 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 oops I have to select free tire else I'll be charged a bomb Username, password, I have given the storage type, disable the auto-scaling, make it publicly accessible, ok, everything is done. Right, so now let's create our database. While this has been created, meanwhile let me go back to my EC2 instance and try to log in. Until this is getting ready, I will deploy my WordPress application so let me copy the IP address quickly let's not get confused this was the older EC2 instance I just created so let me filter it by instance state or let me just terminate this we don't need it Instant state running and copy this IP address. Let me go to Putty.
Ubuntu is the username at the rate IP address. I'm doing this quickly because we have already covered this in detail in our previous videos. So let me quickly jump in deploying. So I have logged in into my EC2 instance. Let me get the root access now. sudo su and now I'm in root. So let me type apt hyphen get update. Alright, now it's time to install some libraries like Apache 2, PHP MySQL, drivers and let me type the command or I'll just copy the command. This is the command which will be executing apt-get install, we'll be installing Apache 2 which is a web browser, we'll be installing PHP, we'll be installing MySQL client and a couple of other dependent libraries which is required for us to run this WordPress. So let me copy this and type it here. Yes. Now if you remember our previous videos where we deployed a static HTML page, we went to var slash www folder and inside that there was a html folder inside the html there was an index.html file where we have uh, changed the html file so here we will do the same thing let me go to var slash www instead of going inside html folder let me download the wordpress So this is the URL where we'll get the latest downloadable zip file for WordPress. So let me download this. So this will create a folder called WordPress for latest.zip. Let me unzip this file. So unzip is the command unzip latest.zip. Alright, so this will create a folder called WordPress. Let me go inside WordPress. And inside WordPress, there should be a file called wp-config-sample.php. So now that we have installed WordPress, we need to set up an RTS instance. So WordPress basically needs a database. So for that, we'll be using our RTS uh, MySQL database. So we need to connect our WordPress with that uh, RTS instance which is running. So we need to create a wp-config.php file. Since we don't know what the content should look like, WordPress comes with a sample PHP file. So we will just rename this file for now. I'll take wp-config-sample and I will rename it to wp-config.php. So now that everything is done, we have created our wordpress-config.php file. Now let us go back to our RDS and see whether the instance is up and running. Let me go to RDS. Okay, it's still not yet ready. So let me pause this video and I'll be back once the status is available. Okay friends, our RDS is also ready now. Let me copy the endpoints. So this is the endpoint. Let me go back to my EC2 instance. So my session is hanged out. I think I have to create a duplicate session. CD var www wordpress let me close this whole session and here we have to change the file wp-config so sudo su 
and let me open the vi editor wp-config.php click on enter and if i just scroll down so guys this is the place where you have to enter your database information like here you'll be entering the database name the username password and host so let me copy the endpoint and place it in db underscore host and then let me copy the password i hope you remember the password when you're doing this exercise admin and let me do a custom database name wordpress hyphen db all right so we are good here let me save how do you save it press escape and give colon wq so if you just want to verify whether your changes has been replicated come here come down and here you can see all your changes are taken place okay so now let us connect this endpoint from our hide sql just to verify let me copy this rest and say endpoint of the database url and let me try to connect it yes so our ds is running and next thing which we have to do is restart our web server to take place all these changes but before that we have to do another important step so for your web server by default it will look into the folder www slash html but we have installed our website in a different folder it is called wordpress so instead of html we have installed our website in wordpress so in order to make these changes i need to go to a folder structure called etc slash apache2 slash sites enabled so here there will be a file called 000-default.config let me open this file and let me go to insert mode and if you look at this document root here it is var www.html so this was fine until we do something in html folder but since we are using a different folder structure we have to apply those changes here as well so let me give var www slash wordpress and then escape colon wq we have saved these changes and now it's time to restart my server so service apache2 followed by restart so now that i have restarted my web server so the next step is to uh, by default all the wordpress files belong to the root user so i have to change the permission as well so for that let me copy this command okay now that we have done everything right now it's time to log in to our wordpress through the browser so let me copy the ip address of the ec2 instance where we have hosted it let me go back to ec2 and there's only one running instance copy this ip address so here i go ip address slash the url will look something like this it will be wp hyphen admin slash install dot php so once i go to this it says can't select the database so we have given the database as wordpress hyphen db so let me create a database create new database and what did we give wordpress hyphen db so this was the one which we gave in the wp-config.php since this database is not available it is giving an error message 
So let me create this database and WordPress should take care of creating the tables necessary. Let me go back and refresh this browser. Yes, now it is now WordPress has gone in installation mode. So as and as and when I select the options, it will create all the necessary tables in my database. So let me click on English, continue. The title would be WordPress AWS blog, and the username could be my name. Let's come down. Let us copy this password. Oops. Let me copy this password, and this is a mandatory where I have to give the email and now install WordPress. Alright, now let me log in into my WordPress and the password was this and login. So guys, this is how your WordPress uh, blog looks like. Now if you want to create any blog, just go to write your first blog and then you can create your uh, attractive blogs or website of your choice. Okay, I don't want these things, so let me close. Let me add something like AWS blog, blah blah blah, and let me I can type anything here. So guys, this is how you deploy your WordPress application using the EC2 instance in RDS. So I hope you like this video. You can also make your website more interesting like currently we just ran in one EC2 instance but if you're planning to make this public then you have to take care of load balancing, auto scaling and also if you look at the URL this is uh, not pretty user friendly so maybe you should think about Route 53 creating a DNS name there like you can create something like www.viansblog.com so you can make use of all those things but uh, for now we will end this video here. If you have any interesting topics in your mind and if you want me to cover that please write that in the comment section. And thanks for watching this video. Please like, subscribe and share this video. Thank you so much.